Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Wildsea Tech. This is my review of the Frozen Magic EX360 all-in-one li liquid cooler from Thermalright. So let's get straight into it and let's give you the benchmarks. Then I will give you my overall opinion if you should buy it or not. So let's get to the benchmarks. Now I have done benchmark testing. Uh, they are... I've only done... Um, four CPU benchmark testing tests. Um, I've done two gaming tests because they have their own uh, bench uh, benchmarks included. So for 3D Mark CPU profile, it was an idle of 33, max was 61, Cinebench R20. The idle was 28.1 Celsius and the max was 61. The Cinebench R23 benchmark was idle of 33, max is 61. The Geek Bench idle was 33 celsius max was 60 which i was really surprised with uh total war saga thrones of britain idle was 27 celsius max was 39 so basically you could play that game all day and it wouldn't go any higher um the then total war three kingdoms the idle was 28 and then the max was a 42 that was a bit more that's because that's probably it's it was more of a demanding benchmark itself. There was more characters involved. So that could be the reason why it went so high. Either that or that game utilizes more of a CPU. So, uh, Right, so that's the benchmarks. I will make sure I put the graphs up there in the video. So what I want to give you is my overall opinion. One, the fans are very loud. They are horrible. I do not like the fans. They're very, 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 very loud. They run at 1850 meg, uh, rpm and you can hear them i will say at about 50 percent they are much better but 100 percent oh my word they're so loud i just i couldn't keep it on once i was doing the benchmark i had to block my ears out because they're that loud that's how bloody loud they were uh there's one good thing about that the fans were pre-installed but if you need to install this in the front of your case then you've got to rearrange the fans to be blowing air through that side. Yep. Because you can't do this. You can't go like that and like that. Because it won't work that way. So, that was a pain. Uh, the, the top and the bottom fans were over-tightened at the assembly line. So, when I replaced and took these, oh, uh, took these off and then swapped them around, one fan has got an annoying click as soon as it starts spinning. So, that could be due to the assembly uh the rgb on the block is nice it's got very good illumination uh if i remember uh, to put a picture up i will put a picture up for you guys to see it uh there's a rgb ring around the housing and then it's got the thermal right logo um i will say the best color for this is either purple or red they are the most nicest they're the nicest colors because they're very vibrant very um as i said the fans are loud uh the performance is good i mean this is a 360 so it's going to push a lot of performance because it's so big and this is a ryzen 3600 it's got 32 gigs of ddr4 at 36 mega 3600 megahertz it's got an msi tomahawk b5 a b450 motherboard it's got a gtx uh, uh gtx 1050 ti's just my my bench test card it's got a samsung uh 980 980 mvme for a boot and it is housed in the 500dx as well as it's got a 650 uh watt power supply from be quiet which is fully modular so that's the set that's the specs of the kit, uh, system and this performed very well very well i will say that it performed very very well now despite my problems with it you might not have the same problem but as this is i the way the fans are actually positioned they, i'm assuming this is meant to just be on top of your case but not all cases support a 360 on top they might have like 360 millimeters uh 120 fan fans positioning but the height between the motherboard and the top of the case might not be big enough in certain cases 
So then you're gonna have problems putting in your CPU, uh, your your eight pin into your motherboard. Um, you're gonna also have problems putting in your CPU, uh, PWM fans. You're gonna have problems putting in RGB ca uh, cables if they're situated at the top. But obviously, you could really just do all that before you position it in but then you're gonna have problems and if your cpu uh a pin does come off a little bit from the motherboard itself which is going to be it, it depends on how long your cables are if you've got extended cables it can be a little bit off a bit longer than usual cables that come like with the power supplies included so you could have various problems but there where the positioning of the a other aio is going to have a really bad tension on that cable Obviously, that's one thing you don't want to do. You do not want to snag that A-pin cable, especially when you're trying to game. Because if anything goes wrong, bye. It will, if you blow that CPU, connect it up, initially your CPU or your motherboard will be dead. And usually it takes everything with it. So, um, I will make sure I put the graphs up. I will make sure to try and put up a photo or I'll put a video in this uh, video for you a a video that I've already done on TikTok which if you go over to Welsh Tech on TikTok or my um, Facebook uh, Facebook channel uh, page a uh, Welsh Tech uh, I have put a video up already of this showing the illumination on the block I liked it the reaction I had on TikTok was quite amazing they actually loved the look of it so that made me happy, but you know, there's a lot of pros and cons with this. So if I was you, I'd wait. Uh, there's a there's a lot of good options out there. Uh, there's Arctic. They've got one of uh, the best AI on the market. Uh, their 361, I believe it's around the underpower mark, and it's meant to perform fantastically. But I wouldn't know because they won't tell me one unfortunately but i understand in the way the economy is at the moment with everything going up i understand but other than that uh this is a good option it does stay, stay cool but if you're the one that doesn't care about noise then fair enough then buy this but i will say the price really does dictate my opinions because on aliexpress yes i know aliexpress but this is a thermorite product i found it on aliexpress and the price is 85 pound 85 pound the performance is fantastic for the price so for basically bang for your buck this is fantastic because it outperformed the msi uh, 360r that i had and it outperforms the pure loop from be quiet so it's still a good fantastic option but obviously my cons are the fact that the fans are horrible i do not like the fans and i wish there was rgb because i'm an rgb snob send me rgb yeah uh so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and this is richard from welsh tech over a fantastic day good bye